Hello everyone, are you ready to go in deep and want to get the answer of following 7 questions? Why the shear force used in beam designs are different from the analysis shear force? When the beams are going to be designed as ductile in ETAB software? Why the columns designed in ETAB software sometimes showing higher percentage of reinforcement even for the low rise structure SG plus 1? Why the columns in top stories showing higher percentage of reinforcement in comparison of the lower stories? Why the bending moments used in the column design different from the analysis bending moments? What is the uniform reinforcement compression tension design approach for the shear wall in ETAB software? What is the boundary element checks in the shear wall design? What are the correct design parameters and preferences to be assigned in beam, column and shear wall design as per IS456-13920 and IS1893 in ETAB software? The answer to all of these questions and many more is going to be given by industry expert Mr. Udit Hire. So finally, Structs of Center inviting you all in this two-day workshop where we are going to decode the design of beam, column and shear wall in ETAPs along with the manual verification with highly experienced industry expert.